Hey, what's up? It's Yanni, back with another haul. So let's get into it. Really excited, got some books in the mail today, and I also have some really old books that I, I actually got before my last haul that I didn't have a chance to get to. So first thing I want to uh, touch on is X-Force number one over here. Now they came out this week saying that most likely probability is they're going to do a teaser end credit at the end of the next X-Men movie, the X-Men Apocalypse movie, that the teaser will feature X-Force. And Rob Liefeld has said that it'll be his X-Force with Cable and Deadpool. You know, that's, we're talking years away here. First they got to film the first X-Men movie, then they got to film the X-Force movie. But someday, this polybagged X-Force One may be worth more than a dollar. Now, I did show this last time, and one of the commenters said, how did you know that there was a Deadpool card in that? And, and me being naive, and this, this was a book when I first started collecting that was popular, and I knew what to look for. And I get mad when older people say, oh, yeah, that, that old Bronze Age book, I remember buying that off the stands, and they know this and that about it. Well... You know, I forget that there's people younger than me now that collect comics and may not know the, the things that I saw when I was growing up. So, he said, how did you know there was a Deadpool card in there? And if you're going to buy this book, that's the book I would try and find. Uh, I still wouldn't pay more than a dollar for it at this point. But, number one, or, you know, another book I'd pick up is the second print. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to find, somewhat hard to find. I still wouldn't pay more than a dollar for it, but... Number one, get it polybagged, because if it's not, it's not worth squat. Make sure it's actually sealed still at the top, because sometimes they might cut it and put it back in the bag, and it's not actually sealed. To find the card that it has, simply flip it over, and you can see two cards in the back here. And they'll move around, so if you can't actually see the card, um, move them around a little bit and there you can see this one has the Deadpool card in it which is obviously the the more sought-after character here so that's how you tell easy enough uh, and I think the youtuber was Odzio something like that so hopefully that helped you alright to the left here you should know about this book by now Swamp Thing 37 really excited with the whole package that I got I paid about 60 bucks on eBay for this and the copy itself, not not a spectacular copy. It's it had it was listed as having some uh, some dirt on it. Um, the staple is kind of uh, coming detached, and it actually has a big crease right here, which is kind of hard to see. There you can see it. I mean, for sixty bucks, it was not worth it. Still, actually, it may be worth that someday, you know, once, once the show comes out. But what intrigued me about this uh, eBay purchase was I looked at it, and it was it was a perfect example of a horrible listing. And when I say horrible listing, the title was not descriptive, and it should have been broken up into more parts. The title basically said Swamp Thing 37. And then it had uh, Deadpool second appearance, I think, in the title. And that was it. So I found it because of Swamp Thing 37. Wanted to see the condition of it. Clicked on the pictures. And I noticed there was just pictures full of other comic books. And I'm thinking, well, what the heck are these? They must have uploaded them by accident. I went into the details. And it had a whole bunch of other comics. And... I feel like I got my money's worth. Really happy. I'll show you what I got here. First of all, the seller was really cool. They threw in this. Just it wasn't even on the listing, I don't believe. Wolverine Bloody Choices graphic novel. Never seen it before. Cool item. Um, it's in great condition. I mean, it's probably a it's probably a VF near mint, if not even better. This is uh, it's a fifteen dollar book on eBay. Well, about ten. Lists for about 15, not may have sold for that, probably sold for about 10. So there's, there's a, let's say 10 bucks off the buying price right there. 
other stuff that I got with all the, in the same lot. All, all of these books came with it. Now there's nothing great in here. Some Wolverines, um, just kind of X-Men related stuff. Punisher War Journal with the Wolverine, which I've shown before. It's a cool, cool little run. Um, you know, nothing great. Some X-Forces, nothing great there. But it was, you know, that's a substantial amount of books. It also came with these. Marvel Milestone for X-Men number 9. Pretty nice shape. A couple little creases there. A couple little bends on the spine. New Mutants number one that's a decent book I still pick them up when I find them for a dollar because they are worth more than that value wise I got here was the second appearance of Deadpool obviously X-Force number two and it's in pretty decent condition this there's a little crease up there but that's just on the bag and and they've because of this X-Force movie talk the this book has jumped up to people asking 10 bucks on eBay for it and right now we can't find anything cheaper than that I don't think it's a ten dollar book but uh, I think a lot of people were hoping it would get to that so it's kind of there now we'll see how long that lasts came with some uncannies 207 um, 184 and then a 281 and a 282 first bishop cover check this out great I'll show you this one first. ROM 18, it's a X-Men book. In ROM 17 and 18, X-Men crossover. It came with a ROM number one. That's a that's a 10 to 20 dollar book, depending on grade. It came with a really nice looking, really nice looking Marvel Premiere 19. One of the early Iron Fist. Check this out too. This was probably the last thing that said yeah I gotta buy this X Factor 24 there you go off the table X Factor 24 awesome Archangel cover first full appearance I mean all of those books for 60 I think I think that was worth it including the Swamp Thing which I think I could I could probably get 60 when the show hits so Really happy to add those to my collection. Really cool books. All right, some other stuff I got today. Uh, flea market or uh, yeah, flea market type thing. Fifty cents each. Thunderbolts twenty five. It's got a super brief appearance of Big Hero. It's one panel. Big Hero six. This is, I believe, their first appearance outside of Sunfire miniseries and the Big Hero six miniseries. I'm pretty sure this is their first appearance outside of that so kind of a cool book like I said it's they don't play any major character in the, in this story but who knows uh, Catwoman 53 just Adam Hughes nice Adam Hughes cover Quasar number one you know cool book to get for 50 cents for sure Secret Warriors 2 first appearance of Kraken who is going to be on the uh, I believe they're advertising as as the big bad for the next season, season two of Agents of Shield. So pick that one up if you don't have it. These are these are cool books to get now. Warlock's getting pretty hot because of the Guardians movie. Um, he might appear, maybe not. But these are just great Jim Starling covers. These are uh, reprints of original Warlock books. But, you know, it's got all the original artwork for Infinity Gauntlet. So you can see this came out in like the 90s, late 90s. Um, actually, probably mid 1992 probably. Good books to pick up cheap. I got those for 50 cents each. And I got a Birds of Prey number one for 50 cents. And for some reason he had this. And I wasn't going to buy into the hype, but I had to get it. Death of Wolverine for 550 basically cover a little bit over I, I had to get it I don't know you know was always a Wolverine fan so I'll, I'll buy that one we'll see all right here's a book I'm real hot on right now world's finest 251 
first of all, try and find this book in the wild. Very hard to find a lot of the world's finest around this time period just because they're not that collected, not that sought after. People probably see them and, and don't even, you know, shop owners don't even buy them. This is the first appearance of Count Vertigo that will be in the new season of Arrow, played by a, a pretty well-known actor. So this is his first appearance, not the original Count Vertigo, but the, the newer Count Vertigo. Good good book to have. I mean, I'm really excited to find this. I paid twelve fifty for it, and you're not going to find it for much cheaper than that if you do find it. So definitely be on the lookout of that. Had to get this. New strain. Loving the show. Continues, you know, I, I got every, most, of, most of the other books, so I'm going to continue that. Alright, here's another big hero tie-in. Amazing Spider-Man End of the Earth one-shot. You can see right there, featuring Big Hero 6. You know, uh, another good Big Hero 6 book to have. Not much more I can say. Couple books here. Captain Savage 2 and 3. Hydra. Origin of Hydra. And uh, they're talking about Hydra playing a, a bigger role in the new S.H.I.E.L.D. So, who knows? These, these could do something. Good books to have either way. I'm happy to have them. I paid about six bucks each. Not in great shape. Mercer not showed this. I, w I wasn't aware of how much this was. Spawn 175. Great Gunslinger Spawn cover. Paid about eight bucks for it. Also, speaking of Arrow, 18, the kind of the, uh, well, it's definitely the first uh, Komodo cover. His, his first appearance is 17, which I've shown many times. Great book to have. Now Komodo's going to be on the show, so this this should do something. Pick that one up for sure. I paid I paid three bucks for it, and I'm happy with that. I also picked one of these up just because it's a it's a Green Arrow book. I mean, a lot of the Green Arrow stuff is still underrated, even though the show has been pretty popular. So I'll pick that up for a dollar. What else I got here? Oh, I picked these up for. Hmm, I paid for these. I paid about. I paid about 10 bucks for these. And they are Captain America Winter Soldier series 3, 7, 11, and 12. Mainly I just wanted one book here. 11. Awesome Winter Soldier cover. I'm really excited about the next Captain America movie and the prospects from a comic book collecting perspective of you know, Winter Soldier, I think, is going to be real hot again. And a book like this, that it's, you know, the whole story is awesome, but it's just a great Winter Soldier cover. Hot book. That that one's an awesome cover, too. Both of these, I really am I'm high on for the next Captain America movie. Alright. Hard book to find in good shape. I paid 15 Fantastic Four annual king size special number six first annihilus now this one is i'm i'm really happy to have this in this grade and i think i stole this book on this price look at the man it's just the red on this is amazing and the spine looks great usually the spine is split there's not much of a roll with a book like this there's going to be a little bit usually just from People actually read the comics back then. They didn't just put them in a bag. But great looking book. And this is this is becoming more popular. Good book to have for sure. Happy to have that one. Alright, what else I got here? Um, Captain Adam number three from New 52. I can't remember who that it's a it's a flash character. I'll put it in the notes. As well as Green Arrow 22, the first uh, first Count Vertigo in Green Arrow. And I believe it's also first Clock King, who is going to be on 
the show as well. Can't remember if it's Arrow or Flash, but I'll put those in the in the notes too. All right, what else I got here? Just some uh, some dollar books I picked up actually. Oh, I forgot I even got these. Strain number ten for a buck. What else did I get? I got these are books that are probably overlooked by most people. Eternal Warrior Fist and Steel one and two for a buck each. They are along with this. Eternal Warrior Wings of Justice and Eternal Warrior Yearbook number two. All these are just they're hard books to find. Very low print runs for these uh, later volume books. Just very hard to find. I mean, I don't know how sought after they are. They are for like serious collectors probably, but really cool books to have. Uh, you know, just hard to find. I picked up a Zero Phantom variant. Great story. Would definitely recommend that. That was a dollar. Found this for a dollar. And I can't remember who's in this, of course, either. Frankenstein Agent of Shade, number one. New 52. Another TV character first appearance. Put it in the notes. Can't remember. Alright, what else I got here? I got uh, some stuff that I got at a half, half off a local shop. Um... I've shown this one before, and I think I feel like it's still an underrated. It, it spiked for a while. I feel like it's still underrated. It's Nightwing one through four, and I paid. I think I paid eight dollars for these, for all four of them. Great book. Underrated. Definitely pick it up. Firestorm nineteen new fifty two first Killer Frost, and this is Caitlin Snow Killer Frost, who will be on the flash show deadpool number two i paid two bucks for this this series if you go on ebay people were kind of dismaying this new deadpool series but man people people want them they're they're paying decent money for the first you know five books in this series and that's definitely worth it for two bucks another book i think i showed this before walking dead second print to number 100 great uh, great cover for Negan who may appear on the TV show who knows I picked this up just because it's um, kind of been talked about a little bit online weird love from IDW and yo I paid 225 for that great cover though kind of a, uh, a take on uh, you know, some of the old horror, pre-code horror books. Transmetropolitan number one. Didn't have it yet. Paid eleven twenty-five for it. Great DC, Vertigo, somewhat Vertigo series. Kind of in the same realm. Not Vertigo, though. How about this one? Linda Carter, student nurse number six. You got that one, Mercy Knight? Yeah, probably not. Hard to find book. I paid four bucks. Four dollars. Thank you. I had to pick up this to finish the run. Deadpool Carnage paid two fifty. I got oh, so that was all I got from that store. All right, online purchase. Firestorm. By now you should know he's been heating up like crazy. This is the new fifty two number one, and this is the second print which I've shown you before. Paid two two twenty five for him. How about this? Awesome, awesome Flash cover. It's an homage to the first Reverse Flash 159, if I'm not, no, 139, 139. Um, this is the series before the new 52, number seven variant. Hard to find book. I paid seven bucks for it. Really cool book though. Really cool homage. Firestorm number seven from the second series, first plastique on the new flash show paid two bucks defenders number 27 four dollars another book i'm super high on right now first cameo of starhawk and if you saw the guardians movie pick this book up look at when he comes into the uh into the comic and think about how 
Peter Quill's mom described his father when she was on her deathbed. Then take a look at this, and man, I I think it's a, a dead on, but we'll see. Uh, a next number seven, paid three bucks for that. First super cameo, Hope Pym, Ant Man, daughter, she'll be in the in the uh, in the movie. You got another one of those Secret Warriors Kraken. Another book that I've been looking to get for a while, Wolverine, Old Man Logan, number 66. First, I believe this is the first, yeah, first in the Old Man Logan series. And they've kind of teased if they do another Wolverine, it'll follow this storyline. So, great book to get. I paid a little bit less than three bucks for that. And I found this for a quarter. Hell yeah. Ultimate Spider-Man 152, awesome Catwoman cover. Another quarter book. I didn't know much about it. I knew that there was some talk about this book. Sleeper, Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips, great team. This is season two, number one. Uh, so it's not worth a whole lot, but I got a couple, couple Manhattan projects, 13 and 16. Just for a quarter, why not? Superior, number one. Been options, got that for a quarter. How about this one? You know about this one? I paid two seventy. Iron Man three oh five, the second in the Hulkbuster storyline. So uh those books have really picked up. Three oh four especially picked up.